got smoke on before I get on this one. What is up YouTube? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today and as you guys can see from the title, we are just doing a part two in this finger quiz. Uh, I am so excited to get into this video. As you guys know, if you see my last video, my last finger quail video, it was like a year ago. My hair was much shorter than it is now. Now my hair is a little bit past shoulder length as you guys can see. And so yeah, that will, you know, change the results of the style. And, you know, my shrinkage will be completely different. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to see what that turns out in the end. Super excited to show you guys the results. So right here, I'm just detangling my hair using the IC Moisturizing Conditioner. I always do this in all my wash day routines. I'll just condition my hair first and detangle, you know, while it's wet. Just to um, cause less breakage, of course. You know, my hair has already shedded enough just being that it's been in that protective style for so long. So I don't want to add to that shedding. So yeah, I'm just doing that first and I'm going to go ahead and kind of rinse that out. And then I'm going in with my shampoo right here, you guys. I'm going to just really get that in there. I did about two washes with that. And then um, I went in with a deep conditioner as well and just kind of left that in, that in my hair for 24 hour period rinse that out in cold water the next day and you guys will see that in the next clip So I'm just getting my hair nice and wet right now, y'all. And then I'm going to just go in and section my hair off, you guys. And using my dimming brush, I'll just be kind of detangling my curls a little bit, getting them nice and smooth. And then I'm going to add some Eco Styler Gel and get into these finger coils. As far as parting goes, you guys, I'm pretty much just picking those parts with my fingers and freestyling them because I don't want it to dry and when I'm ready to kind of separate the curls, I don't want it to be obvious that, you know, I parted my hair. Of course, I don't want it to be a harsher part. So 
does that make sense like I wanted to kind of camouflage when I'm separating the curls so, you, so it's easier you know to pick out when it is dry you know so that's pretty much why I'm not really going in with like exact partings and um, yeah I'm just kind of you know gauging it as I go and um, making sure that I try and get you know sections that aren't as off and I'm also just making sure each time I do a finger coil I'm going in the same direction so that I can get the same type of curl of course so yeah you guys you want to just make sure that you're curling in, in the same direction each time Also, the way that I'm sectioning my hair, I'm just making sure that, you know, it works for me as far as framing the face goes. Um, I usually like to have my curls kind of hit the front of my face when it dries. I don't have like an exact part in the front. I just kind of section them towards the front because that's how I, I want them to hit my face. And as far as like the crown area of my hair goes, I pretty much you know make all my hair go forward instead of like parting it right in the middle because I don't want like a, a direct part in the middle either and it also helps with volume as well so yeah you guys um the intent is to make sure that you have enough control over how you're sectioning off your hair so that when it dries you get that desired look that you want and it frames your face how you want it to.
I just want to show you something real quick. So watch my hair while it's wet. This is it when it's wet. As y'all can see, I got that length. You know what I'm saying? It's no shrinkage in sight, girl. It looks good, right? You know what I'm saying? I really like it at this length too, y'all. Watch, watch. Pay attention to the difference. Y'all, stop playing. Stop playing, man. That is a drastic change. Shrinkage. Shrinkage is a fool, but it's okay. It's okay. So basically what I'm doing right here is I'm going to stretch my curls out a little bit. So I'm using my blow dryer. And honestly, y'all, it is on. This blow dryer actually gets really hot. So I'm only keeping it on my hair for a few seconds, if that um, but yeah, I'm pretty much just hitting the roots. It is on medium high and Yeah, I'm just making sure I'm stretching my curls um, This is just gonna help me stretch my curls out a little bit more so that that shrinkage is not as bad as What you guys just saw and then I'm kind of going in and separating the curls as well I'm just blowing it out a little bit more at the roots you guys and you know just separating it a little bit more but this is pretty much the look you guys and if you stick with me to the end I appreciate you so much if you are subscribed stay tuned for more videos you guys I got more videos on the way and yeah as you can see my hair has grown so much from the first video it's a lot fuller now it's a lot longer and you know I'm just loving this look Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Gotta be real with it. Yeah. Kiki, do you love me? Are you riding?